my new sunglasses. Quite spectacular. I have no idea where they're from. Steve Madden. There we go. Sort of fit them into my helmet. Bollocks, I need to get some petrol. Man, this girl's thirsty. Thirsty, a thirsty thought. What a fantastic day, guys. Welcome to another video. So happy, I'm out on the bike. Look at this glorious weather. And I don't even care that my fucking sunglasses are getting steamed up already with all my hot breath because I'm just so excited to be riding my bike. I don't care that I can't see right now. Oh, life is good. Oh, fuck it up. That guy nearly crashed into that guy. Oh, god damn. Oh, that's a pond down there. Look at that. I could fucking put a little boat in there and pretend I was a pirate or some shit. You hide me, Arthies! Ah, oh, wheelie attempt failure. Right, let's get some juice for this thirsty baby. Hello, petrol place, let me in, please. Oh, there's one there for me. Oh, very nice. Yoink! Mm, yeah, I'm gonna open you up real wide, girl. Stop doing that, I think people are listening. <laughs> She literally just heard everything I was saying. And that woman was literally right next to me when I was just mouthing off some shit about opening my bike up real wide. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, c'est la vie. Told you, man, people think I'm crazy. Crazy! Pretend I'm looking at some peanuts because she's in the queue over there. <laughs> okay, let's just man up. Enough looking at peanuts. Pump seven, please. A lot of people say rim tape doesn't look good on sports bikes, but I beg to differ. My rim tape looks pretty nice. That was actually very, very awkward. Part and parcel of being a motor vlogger, I guess. People just think that you've completely lost your marbles. Goodbye, lady. She'll never forget me, I'm sure. Oh, there was that weird biker down by the petrol station who was talking to himself and being really sexual with his motorcycle. <laughs> right, ladies. <laughs> this question like I have a lot right sort of every I would say out of every 10 questions this gets asked once or twice and people always go like oh so can you really like, this just seems to be like and it's also a big question in like the motorcycling community and I think because there's a lot of like misinformation about about this right and that is can you start motorcycling on a 600cc sport bike and like I, I guess I've like touched on this topic quite a lot in my videos just because I get asked about it a lot but I've never like made like an absolute definitive video everyone has a differing opinion man like on the one side you have people like no all learners even if they're like 55 or something you must start on a 125 and you must work your way up through the motorcycle engine and power classes before you qualify to be able to ride a 600cc sport bike and they get so sensitive if people say actually which is what on the other side say it's like no mate you can fucking start on wherever you want to as long as you're sensible right but these people on the left say no you must start on a 125 they get like properly mad when you say no 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 i think anyone can start on anything to the point where like you think you've just like smacked the baby in front of them or something like they get properly sensitive proper keyboard warriors i can imagine the keyboard warriors just just getting tilted right now being like no you must start on a 125 Clacky clack 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 with the neck beard you know from south that episode from south park like clack 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 <laughs> How dare you think you can start on anything anything less than a, than a 250 600cc sport bikes are too powerful for the beginner blah, blah, blah. Everything on the internet right you always have people I call them sofa experts They literally have no real world experience of anything And then yet they feel that they are completely qualified to dictate to everything Oh it's very nice of you to leave a nice space for me Thank you big lorry man Fucking dictate to you everything And that's the only way of perceiving life And that's how 
life must be because oh keyboard warrior blah 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 no it's bollocks but my opinion has changed over time if you want to start on a 125 because if you're scared about riding something like this 600cc sport bikes are one of the easiest bikes you can ride they're not scary every bike is dangerous you can kill yourself on a 50cc moped if you're going to be a twat on it but these things are so easy to ride you know holy shit they're not scary they're so user friendly if you want to and if you can because of the licensing laws you can get a 600cc sport bike as your first motorcycle here my children are the reasons why numero uno numero uno is that they are light they're so light they're not heavy motorcycles at all they're not chunky they're maneuverable you know they have the weight usually of a 125 in many ways you know they're nice and easy to go to ride with you know you're not gonna be toppling over them at traffic lights or anything like that unless you're like an oompa loompa or something in which case i feel sorry for you numero dos is that all the power and i'm talking about 600 cc sport bikes comes when the needle hits about 10. before that nothing well not nothing of course you get quick you go places but like it's not as mad scary as what people let out to believe right so right now we are in oh just hit my horn Ooh. We are in sixth gear. I need a manly horn. That is pathetic. So I'm in sixth gear, okay? I'm going 52 miles an hour. Throttle is wide open. And I just went up 10 miles per hour in that speed. You're not gonna get scared on this. It's just like, it's not really possible. What you are gonna get scared of is if you're fourth, third, second. So you're in second now, obviously you have more power. So then you go a lot quicker. But if you're just poo if you're learning to ride on your first bike and you know that you need to be in a high gear, no worries. Because the biggest scare is that if you're in a low gear and you jerk the throttle, you're gonna get lunged backwards and you're not ready for it. That is the biggest scare. The other thing about these is that because most 600 cc sport bikes are four cylinder bikes, they have a very smooth anticipatory power band. What I mean is that when you crank the throttle, power builds over time and then you feel it taking off once you get in the rev range but unlike something like a twin even though a v-twin or even a parallel twin they have less horsepower they're supposed to be more user friendly to use the buzzwords but if you are in a lower rev range and you crank the throttle you're going to have more torque torquier bikes i say are less beginner friendly than horsepower orientated bikes because whilst this has a lot of horsepower it's about 130 to the crank it doesn't have mental torque you know, you're not going to get thrown off the bike. Filled to filled to filled to bitches. Out my way. You know, okay, so we're in first gear now. Let me show this to you. So it's, it's also, what's nice is that 600cc sport bikes, they're not clunky in the low rev range. It's not jerky when you're like going t 10 miles an hour. Bitch, please. You know, not jerky at all. Whereas on a twin, they really struggle. They get really like choky when they're in like 5, 10 miles per hour in first gear. Whereas these bikes, they don't. They have this really smooth and easy to ride. So my point is that everything is expected. You know what you're getting. Obviously, these bikes are quick. You can do very close to 170 mile now on this thing. But the thing is that when you're cruising at highway speeds, it's perfect because you still have loads of power enough to overtake idiots in front of you and people who are riding your ass. Why is my fault light? Come on. That's not Gucci. All right, let's do this. Turn it back on. No one behind me. There we go. That fault light comes on because of the X up valve. It's not on the bike. Oh, fucking, it's not. I'm not on an off road bike, mate. I'm on a fucking sport bike. Jesus. Jesus Christmas. I'm just going to have a photo here. Don't sink into the ground. I'll be very sad. Yeah, there's a valve in the exhaust down here. Well, there was a valve in the stock exhaust, but that's not there anymore. So the bike's ECU is like. <laughs> There's no X up there, whatever will we do? And so I've installed a, it's called a servo buddy, which basically tricks the ECU into thinking there's one there and it's working properly. Oh, that sucks dick, battery exhausted. I blame Gabby for this. My wonderful camera, she's been vlogging on it. And though she hasn't uploaded any videos, Gabriella. Tits, go on, get back in the fucking bag. Why is my nipple? Stay the on there. 
I mean, the other thing as well is that what's really good about these these sport bikes is that like they're so reliable all the Japanese sport bikes they're so reliable and if you take care of them they will go on forever without any problems at all like this thing I just had the valves done on it so the valve the big 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 service the valves which the valve clearances were checked never done before probably about six or seven thousand miles over the specified checklist boom they're all in spec no issues whatsoever not many people know this by the way check this out if you ever want to turn your bike around in a tight spot you can do this really easily grab the left handlebar with your left hand grab the arse of the bike tilt it towards you put pressure on the back and rotate it round on the kickstand I'm not going to do it all the way around because this is a bit shit you need a smooth service to really do it properly but again left hand on the thing right hand on the arse of the bike spin it like you're twirling the woman Right, let's not get our asses in one of these giant potholes. No, oh, mate, I'm so hungry. I can feel my, my stomach just calling me and saying, Freddy, feed me. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, do leave a comment. If you have an interesting opinion on this topic about whether or not you can start on a 600cc bike, let me know, put it in the comments. Let's have a little constructive conversation about it. Never happens in YouTube comments, but we'll try. Be sure to subscribe, guys, if you haven't yet. Hit the notification bell. It means the world if you hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date with my videos. And I'll see you in the following video. Peace out, homies.